He is, without a doubt, the most electric football player you will see on the high school football field this fall. Oh, he just hopped the player. There he goes, down the sideline. You have got to be kidding. His name is Max Borgman, and he plays for the Pomona Panthers. A season ago, Pomona was perhaps the favorite to win the 5A state crown. They were ranked number one all season long, dominant until this happened. It's called Broncos Reverse it's against Columbine in the quarterfinal game. Um, I took a sweep to the left side of the field, I ran up about 10 yards, got stuck up by a kid, drove my feet, and then another kid came in and slipped my leg and tore it. ACL. The blow was a cruel and devastating one to a Pomona team that has been so close to getting that elusive state football title. That's the first thing you think about is, oh my God, I mean, he's worked so hard to get back to this state championship game and then not to be able to finish the season. And you, it's, there's nothing you can do about it. You just feel terrible, but then you got to go into panic mode. How are we going to win another game without him? But we had a lot of great kids that stepped up last year and it was a lot of fun. When I found out I tore it, you know, I was really hurt, I was bummed, but I knew it just make me better in the long run. Something I have to come back from. Um, I had a buddy, Jake Moretti, who's been through it, so he kind of led me through it kind of a little bit and told me what it was like. The Black Cats continue to battle, reaching the title game with Ryan Marcus taking over. Doing so without Borgen was an accomplishment in its own right and showed the character of the Panthers, something Max was quick to point out. They kept it strong, they kept fighting, and they knew they could do it without us, and they did. They made it there, and they had a huge hard-fought game. Soon after the loss in the title game, reality set in. After surgery on his ACL and MCL, it was time for Mad Max to go to work, and I mean serious work in rehab. It's a process, man. I mean, it's nine months at least, and um, I'm about six months out right now. And it's just been finicky. I've been going at it every day of my life since, um, honestly, before even surgery, you do prehab. It's just been an everyday thing, and it's, it's slow, but it's a process, and it's great. It's, it's weird seeing it build back up, but it's getting back, and I'm getting confident with it again. And therein lies the key. Borgie wanted the need done right. No quick fixes, no shortcuts. He wanted the right procedure done that would be best for his future. They're pushing it hard to take my time. I mean, I got a long football career ahead of me and there's no rush to get back too quick, but I think I'll be back for season for sure. I can't tell you when, but there's still no rush. Drills moving straight forward are okay at this six month mark, but there is no lateral movement with any speed whatsoever. Everything done side to side is measured, banded, and protected. As for the worst part of the rehab, well, that was easy. After surgery, they put me in some machine that bent my knee like this for like hours upon hours all day. That was, that was annoying. I mean, the rehabs, it gets annoying after six months, but you just got to keep to it. In three seasons as a Panther, Borgie's numbers are mind boggling. He has scored 45 total touchdowns, 30 on the ground, 10 through the air, and another five on kickoff and punt returns. He averages 7.7 .7 yards a carry and 14.5 yards of reception. He has had the time of his life at Pomona with one chapter left to write. This is senior season. It's been great, I've learned a lot. I've really come like a young adult here. It's shaped me to who I am. Coach Madden's really taught me a lot, really brought my game up a lot. And then playing for Pomona has been a journey. It's something, it's a real huge part of my life. Um, I've learned more than I can tell you. <laughs>